Yeah. Yeah. So what what's happening with my air conditioner? Yeah, well, that's what he said the last time, but it, it didn't work. Okay, okay, I gotta go. Everybody knows that hip hop, strictly black American innovation, it started on the East Coast. When we got it on the West Coast, put our stamp on it, and sent it out to the world, it became a worldwide phenomenon. That's why so many people gravitate towards the West Side. That's how we do it. My name is Hodari Sababu, and I do one of the coolest sightseeing tours in the world. Everybody does tours that go to the Hollywood sign. Everybody does tours that go to Venice Beach, but they never had the opportunity to come and walk the same streets that Snoop Dogg walked, walk the same streets that Kendrick Lamar walked when he was a kid, or The Game, or Dr. Dre. And once people realize that, hey, I can go to the hood, I can go to South Central, I can go to Watts, I can go to Compton, and I'm not gonna get shot. Once they realized that, then, uh, you know, it just took off. And now it is a worldwide phenomenon. People, I mean, I think I've taken over 60 different countries. Everywhere from Botswana, Uganda, and uh, London, Paris, all over the place. And for some reason, the Aussies, they, they just gravitated towards this tour. We have so much creativity here because we have such a crazy mix of human beings. You know, you got people that are, that are musical, you got people that are scientific, you, and you got serial killers on the loose right now. All, you have to take all that into account. That's one of the things I love about it is just the diversity of it. Really, that's, that's how creativity is born. You know, the garage is a place that your parents would allow you to go and be creative. Whatever the hell you wanted to do, if you didn't fuck up the house and you didn't, you didn't bother us, we don't care. Take it to the garage. The same thing with hip hop. You know, uh, NWA, which is like the quintessential uh, West Coast hip hop band, that's where they started. They get a, a little eight track recorder, they put some sound boards in there, and bam, there you go. And now it's part of the West Side culture. All from a garage at the boyhood home of Eric Wright, also known as Easy e We live different on the West Coast. We don't live like people in London. We don't live like people in New York. We are at a certain tempo and I love it. I love the sunshine. I love the palm trees. The West Coast is the style that I was born with. I will always have the West Coast for life. West Coast.